I love their bromance. I wonder what they do on a night out. We drink bourbon. What else would we do? It's research, research and development. Hey guys, my name is Paul Wesley and the internet is a place with a lot of opinions and a lot of people. So today we're gonna read some of them and I'm gonna respond to them. This is Don't Read the Comments. The first comment is drop the workout routine, which coincidentally, I have dropped the workout routine, which is why I don't look like that anymore. But I think what you mean is I should drop my workout routine, meaning I should tell you my regimen. I am actually working out with a great guy named Grant Roberts. He does all the, you know, superhero guys that act in superhero movies. I haven't done that yet. And a lot of it is like diet. It's all diet. It's just protein intake, heavy weights, all this stuff that I, can't stand. There's no way that's Paul Wesley ripping up the slope. It is, it is. My dad put me on a ski racing team when I was uh, five. And uh, I've been skiing my whole life and then I switched to snowboarding when I was about 13, 14. And uh, it's one of the only things I'm good at in terms of sports. I can't throw a football, not great at basketball, but I can, I can snowboard. Fun fact, Paul Wesley, Donnie, auditioned for Ryan, my greatest role to this day. I played Donnie on The O.C., it was a guest star. I was uh, Ryan's best friend from Chino. I did audition for the role of Ryan, and I didn't get the part, and clearly they were like, he's not right for Ryan, but he's perfect for Donnie. So I don't know what that says about me and my acting skills. Fans are waiting and have spoken. Bring them back. The legacy needs to continue. <laughs> not gonna happen. I'm too old, guys. Aren't vampires supposed to be eternally young? I'm like, look at me. It's not going so well. I can't do I can play the dad. I can do the, the dad in the in the reunion show. Can we do that? I'll do that. Best TBD couples, Delena, Delena, Claraline, Steriline. These all sound like diseases. Um, I did make a joke that Delena sounded like a disease and Steriline sounded like the cure for the disease. Steriline is me, it's Stefan and Caroline, so I'm being a little biased. Yeah, I don't know. What's the best TBD couple? Clara, Clara. People love Claraline. People love Clara, Delena, Delena, Ster. I think I'm gonna go with Claraline, guys. Why not? I would love to see them act in something together again. Yeah, would I act in something with Ian again? Unless it's a parody of us playing ourselves, I don't think I would. Love him to death, we own a bourbon company together. I see him every day, I talk to him every day, I text him every day. I don't wanna act with him anymore. Love him though. How much inspo did you take from the OG Star Trek? I took inspo from it, but I also, because I'm playing Kirk before he was captain of the Enterprise, I wanted him to be different from the Kirk that we have seen on screen in the original uh, series. And so I wanted to, to give him time to grow into the Kirk that we all sort of know. So I'm it's a slow kind of walk towards the Kirk that we know, and that was done intentionally. And I wanted to kind of give him my own spin so that it wasn't, you know, uh, some sort of uh, an imitation. Whose shoes were bigger to fill, Shatner or Pine? I mean, this one's obvious, which is clearly Shatner. There are no bigger shoes to fill than Shatner. You almost have to be a lunatic to, to take on the role of James C. Kirk because he's arguably the most iconic character in the history of television. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Okay, but did he get any advice from Shatner or Pine? I did speak to Shatner, but after I already shot my first episode, I didn't really ask him for advice. I feel like he's kind of over people asking him about Kirk. So I tried to really make it more human. And then I did see Chris Pine at a party and I had to just go up to him and say hi, because you know, how could I not? I didn't ask him for advice either. No advice, no advice from anyone. I wonder if Paul Wesley in real life would want to go to space. Didn't Elon Musk just launch a rocket and explode it midair? I, I'm not sure I want to necessarily go to space right now. But um, yeah, I remember when, when Shatner came down to Earth after his mission to space and he was crying and he's like, oh my God, I saw, he saw, you know, he saw the Earth from this like objective perspective and it made him realize how small our problems are um, relative to you know, the universe. I would like to experience that myself. Paul is so Yellowstone goals. Get him on, hey, I'm waiting for the call and my phone just hasn't rang yet, unfortunately. 
How does he take his bourbon? Is he a straight up kind of guy? Typically on the rocks, just because I like it tasting colder. If I really want to get into like just sipping it and like having a cigar and I'm doing a tasting, neat all the way. But that's for me, that's, you know, I'm kind of a purist in that sense. Want to invest in a nice watch, what should I get? You've asked the right guy. How about this bad boy? This one's, God, this one's very special. Um, I like Omega. That actually was for an Omega watch campaign, this photo right here. I think also you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a cool watch. Sometimes it's about like, how does that watch make you feel? Is there a story, uh, the functionality? Does it fit your wrist well? There's an Omega Swatch Master that costs 250 bucks if you can get your hands on it. I have one. It's awesome. Sometimes it's not about price. It's about just how it complements you, period. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I've heard what the internet has to say. It's everything I thought it would be and more, and I have responded. I hope the responses were good. Thank you for watching. Cheers.